Hi you guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. I'm starting it from Jared's robe in the guest bathroom. I'm embarrassed to say that I'm just starting Vlogmas now and you will be surprised at what time it is in the day. It is like 3.30 and I'm just starting the vlog now, but I kind of was just in a full zone of like, I need to get up my Vlogmas video. So I didn't do any, any editing last night since I, sorry, the mirror is so dirty. Oh my gosh, let me move over here. That was tragic. Guess we need to clean this mirror. It's been a while. I didn't do any editing on Vlogmas last night. So I did it all this morning and I had to check a couple of things just with my boss since I was talking about work for the first time. I just wanted to make sure that like she was comfortable with what I was sharing from our job. Um, and she gave me the go ahead. So I kind of like was waiting a little bit to publish that vlog and then Megan face or Megan called me She didn't FaceTime me and we talked for a little bit So I just didn't want to start the vlog until now when I was in kind of a more I've eaten now and I'm like chilled out I'm actually about to take a bath, which is why I'm wearing this I'm gonna take a nice Epsom salt bath because my back is sore from work yesterday We were lifting boxes. Some of them had to go up and down the stairs we were just like doing a lot of physical, I mean not a crazy amount, but my back is just a little sore today, my lower back from like lifting and like bending yesterday. So I want to take a little Epsom salt bath and then I'm going to shower and see what we're going to do this afternoon and tonight. So I do apologize for starting the vlog a little later today, but I think it's for the best anyway because some days, yeah, maybe I'll show you guys like, hey, I'm editing for the first like three hours of today, but some days like just assume if there's a video going up that I'm editing and it's not always so exciting to film me not talking to you guys on my computer. So I'd rather like start the vlog when I'm actually kind of doing other things. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Let's go take a bath and it is Friday. So I'm feeling good. Here we are again, y'all back at the bathtub. Hello guys, it is early evening now. The sun just went down, I know. I'm a little behind on the vlog, but who cares? We can just film a little night vlog today. It's all good, it's like the same thing. You guys you guys don't know if it's dark out, you just know because I told you. But I am finally sitting down to, well, wrap some things. Um, I haven't wrapped anything yet and I just don't wanna do it all at once because I feel like I'll be a little stressed out. So I kinda wanna do it like maybe three sessions of wrapping stuff. So first thing I'm gonna do is like look at my um, assortment of things that I have in here. I've been throwing things in this corner, like presents and I haven't even like opened some stuff that came in the mail. That is either presents or potentially something for me. I do wanna show you guys some of the stuff that I'm giving this year, but I just kinda wanna sort and on box everything first and then I want to make my disclaimers of course to the people that's gifts I'm going to be showing um in case they're watching and then I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I'm giving I also brought my laptop up because I feel like I'm going to be in here for a while I just started the show I've heard a lot about this show so I feel like I'm kind of late to it it's called the summer I turned pretty uh it's on Amazon Prime and I heard really good things about it. So I just watched episode one when I was in the bath and I really liked it. I'm like intrigued to see what's gonna happen this summer. So I'm gonna watch the next episode while I do this. I think I'm gonna take everything out and then I can show you guys some things and then start wrapping. I don't really think any of these people are watching this vlog, but please, if you are one of the people I'm going to name, please turn off this vlog or fast forward like 10 minutes into it please because i really don't want any gift surprises ruined i'm not going to show stuff for jared or my sister or my friend layla because i kind of feel like all of them are going to be watching this at some point and i don't want to chance it but i am going to be showing stuff for katie for devin you might be watching girl i know it okay turn it off my mom my dad my brother my friend Kim, who else? Drea, Grace. I'm watching you girls. Not Squirtle lying on his own gift. Stop. He lied on his own gift. And Brayden. Okay? If you are any of those people, I'm going to be showing a gift for you. And I really, really, my one Christmas wish is that you turn this off or fast forward 10 minutes so you don't spoil your gift from me. Okay? I love surprises. I'm absolutely dying of this. Apparently he likes it because Squirtle lied, <laughs> laid on his present out of all of these presents. <laughs> he lied on his own. This is a Carhartt working jacket. 
it might be too long for Squirtle. We're probably going to try it on and um, see. I haven't tried it on him yet, but it looks a little bit... There it is. <laughs> it looks a little bit long for him, but I would like to have him have something for going to the park and like a winter jacket because he outgrew the one he used to have like a few years ago. So I think that that one's just super cute. This was a medium, but it was just looking, I mean, he is pretty long, but it was just looking like possibly a little big. So I'll let you guys know about that one. This Levi's cute little Sherpa jacket is for one of Jared's sisters. Um, these are for my dad. They're Eddie Bauer PJ pants, and I'm also getting him a mug warmer that is in the mail right now to complete his gift. This is the cutest thing ever for my friend Dev. I really hope she's not watching this because I literally feel like I found the perfect gift for her. I think operas means like, I mean, I think it means after, but I found it in Park City and Devin loves skiing. So I felt like, and she loves a good pink hat. She always wears hats. So I really hope she likes that. These are part of my friend Kim's gift. She's my cycling instructor and has become my friend this year. So you guys can't really tell on camera, but they're these like iridescent um, drink glasses, they're little wine glasses, but you can use them for anything. And then I did get her one more thing that's coming in the mail also to complete her gift. This is for one of Jared's other sisters. I'm just not going to say in case they're watching and trying to ruin the surprise. This is for another one of Jared's sisters. This is what I'm giving to my mom. First of all, the um, Sherpa I showed you guys yesterday from Girlfriend. And then my mom collects snowmen, if any of you guys remember. And I found this wooden one at Crate and Barrel. And it doesn't have a face, but I still, well, it has a nose, but I still thought my mom would like it for her decor. So I'm going to send her that for her collection. I got her a little book called Paddling My Own Canoe. And then I actually did get her a set of these from the Le Creuset outlet. Um, there's another one, but it's all wrapped up. So I'm just going to show you guys this one, but they're mini cute little Dutch ovens. He just really wants to be on the vlog tonight. <laughs> this kettle we actually got in white and gold this is for jared's mom we got her a Le Creuset kettle for these new shelves that she got in her new kitchen and then we're also going to give them um a few framed photos of us this is a candle from Lanco for jared's stepmom and we're going to get her something else to complete her gift and then his dad and another one of his brothers those things are on the way in the mail, so maybe I'll show you guys when they come. This is just a little something for Brayden, Jared's brother. It's a Carhartt Stanley flask, and I thought it was really cool. I really like the color. This is what I'm giving my brother. It's a long sleeve Pendleton t-shirt. I hope he likes the color, and then this cool belt. I hope he likes it. And then this is where I'm not even going to say who it is. But this is for my secret Santa. And I got her a flannel, a cardigan, and something else that's in the mail. So I got my wrapping paper out. I'm finally going to start wrapping. Definitely not going to wrap all this stuff, but I'll probably wrap like five or six things. So let's do it. I've always given you my best behavior. You gave me everything I asked. But I've grown up in this one thing a stranger I'm sick of sitting on your lap Santa, forgive me Cause this year I'm done being polite So keep yourself busy Cause I don't need you creeping tonight Dear Saint Nick, goodbye I'm over this, your promises are Yeah. 
guys. Here is what I wrapped tonight. I'm kind of a slow wrapper and it just takes a while, you know, find the right wrapping paper or gift bag for the size of everything. So I think this is like 10 gifts or somewhere around there. I did end up doing three in bags just because I had these bags from doing our Christmas shopping and I thought they were kind of cute. So I wrapped Kim and Jared's stepmom's gift and then I wrapped Brayden's one of my mom's gift and my brother's gift is under here. I love the Santa hat wrapping paper. It's from last year. I think it's so freaking cute. I think it's just from like Rite Aid or something. I wrapped a present for Jared from me. This one my mom sent and I didn't open it up. It's for me and Jared. I think another one for Jared from me. Then one of Megan's but I didn't get to her other gifts and then this one for Jared's mom from both of us. That was probably like a third of my wrapping. I don't know. I'm averaging. I still have like a good amount of the gifts that I showed you guys that I didn't get to wrapping. I just need to find more boxes um, for like clothing pieces and stuff. That was kind of hard. I didn't wrap any of that except for like one. I have my light on back there. Sorry, that's probably kind of distracting, but my back is so freaking sore today that and that did not help sitting on the floor for like two hours so i am just about to go downstairs hang out with jared and relax put some of these gifts under the tree i think we're just putting all the gifts under the tree if you guys see like everything under the tree it's just stuff that we both wrapped for like other people or for us so it's not like all gonna stay here but we're gonna bring things as we go to like jared's families and stuff but I might as well just like put this stuff under the tree, right? Okay, guys, I have an update. An update on Pam. I'm gonna like throw this earlier in the vlog because I got so many comments on the last vlog being like, did you speak with Pam? We need an update. And I was meaning to update you guys because I did call her right after that. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, the saga with Pam, click to watch my last vlog. I told a little story time about Pam okay and it was a good vlog so go check it out <laughs> after I filmed that clip on my way to work I called Pam like I said I was going to she didn't pick up so I left a voicemail and I basically said hi Pam my name's Lindsay I got a few voicemails from you and I'm so sorry I didn't return your calls until now um, I meant to call you earlier but it slipped my mind and I am so sorry but I think you have the wrong number because I know you've been trying to get an appointment and I didn't know how to say it without just being like I'm I'm not a doctor's office or anything so I kind of was just like um yeah I don't like work as a doctor or I don't work for a doctor's office so I think you I'm so sorry I think you have the wrong number I hope everything works out for you and your husband I hope that you have happy holidays and everything um okay bye <laughs> and then uh while I was at work I got another my fourth voicemail from Pam bless her heart <laughs> so she called me and I got it like when I got back into the car after my day of work because you know I didn't have my phone out or answer my phone or anything like that so she was like should I literally play it for you guys like <laughs> I want you to hear her voice I don't think she would care she was like such a sweet icon I seriously want you to hear her voice because it will melt your heart like this southern woman oh well she did accidentally call me Lacey but she a lot I said my name really fast so she probably didn't understand but here you go is this Lacey <laughs> I wasn't sure I got your name right here but I wanted to be sure that this was the wrong number that I had been calling if you don't mind, sometime could you just give me a quick call back and tell me why it's the wrong number? Thank you, honey. Thank you. My name's Pam. Like the way I would die for her. My name's Pam. Like, okay, so I call her back immediately once I got that voicemail and she did answer. So I got her on the phone and she was so cute she i basically was like hi pam this is Lindsay. um you called me back and i left you a voicemail earlier but i wanted to call you back and just let you know that yes i'm sorry i do think you might have the i was like i do think you unfortunately have the wrong number um i told her i live in idaho and she was she could not believe that she was like idaho <laughs> i was like yes i have a georgia number i used to live in georgia but i moved to idaho and she was like oh my gosh she literally was like bless your heart hun she she was like i was getting 
I was getting so irritated that no one from the doctor was calling me back. I was like, I know, I'm so sorry. I told her, I was like, I was gonna call you back earlier, but I knew you called from your home phone, which is like two hours later in Georgia, and I never got any of the voicemails until it was nighttime here, so it literally would have been like midnight when I called you, so I kept trying to remember in my head, like don't call Pam back until a good time. So she was like, just bless your heart, darling. Thank you so much for letting me know. She said that they gave her my number, or like maybe she, maybe they said yeah they probably said it wrong or she wrote it down wrong or something so it was really funny at the end of me talking to her she was she literally goes i might have to call you back another time Lindsay and chat i was like okay like i literally was like okay pam yeah like i don't, I don't my queen like are we friends now i don't know is she does she love my work do i love her work yes so that was basically our phone call i told her i hope everything works out for her and her husband Merry Christmas. She said the same thing to me and she was just like this sweet Georgia queen. So that is the update on Pam. She has, oh, thank God. I know. I feel horrible about not getting back to her even sooner. But like I said, the situation was not. Like it wasn't like I could just text her or leave her a voice. And I was like, I'm literally going to ring her home phone number. So I don't want to do that at 10 p.m. or at midnight. You know what I mean? So I really had to be a bit strategic. So that is the update on Pam, you guys. Let's get back to the rest of this vlog. Jared, Cam. Hi. Hi, vlog now. Come so 
so far since that December My biscuit? Yeah. Oh my god, this looks so good. Did you do red pepper flakes already? No. This is what I call a happy meal. Jared made me breakfast for dinner. Yum! He made me a hash with breakfast potatoes, an egg, bell pepper. <laughs> Even chef flop sometimes. So good. I'm having this and some Prosecco tonight. It's true, I'm treating myself, y'all. I put some of my wrapped gifts under the tree. These are some of mine. And I think once Jared makes his food, we're gonna watch Megan's Vlogmas. Also, I set up my lap desk. I want to work on more of my holiday cards. I probably have like two more nights of writing them and then they'll all be sent out. So I wanna put in some more work on those tonight. Oh my gosh, you can't see anything. Sorry. Don't turn on the light. Oh. Her leg looks really long. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, we are doing the advent calendar for two days because I didn't do it yesterday. But that means we both get to get a chocolate. So is it a good thing to wait? It's good for me. <laughs> you like it, right? I just like chocolate. <laughs> we need a new calendar. Well, <coughs> no, I mean, it just needs to be like a smaller... A smaller good. But these are so good, and I don't want a new advent calendar. It's so cute. I don't even know how long I've had this one. It doesn't say on it. Oh, 2014. It's from 2014. Wow, that makes sense. The first year that I moved out. What's your favorite? Well, 2013. Drawer. My favorite drawer is seven because it, it's broken and it slides right out. He already had that one. Um, other than that, maybe 24, because I really like Christmas Eve. What about this, like, pure oh. design? 11? There's a reindeer, and I like 21. I like 6. Because it's your favorite number? And I like the tree. Bone, Bone apple, apple tip. tip. That was fast. Hello you guys, it is Saturday, continuing this vlog. Um, I am going over to Jared's mom's house for a holiday baking day with the girlies. So last year we did this, it was my first time, but the women in his family do like a holiday baking day in December every year. So I'm off to that. I kind of slept in and I got dressed. I'm doing some laundry right now. Jared's at work. Um, I'm gonna go pick up some things for peppermint peppermint bark on my way over because that is something that I've been wanting to make so I'm gonna make a quick stop by like Winco or something on the way over um yeah I'll probably try to film a little bit on my phone while I'm there like a little bit of our baking but I'm probably not gonna pull out my big camera but I will show you guys like um a little bit while we're there I wore this sweater in vlogmas day one but who cares I mean I think it was day one I'm wearing it again with some jeans this time. This is from my newly box. I'll put the um, brand on the screen and I'll link it down below because I don't remember. Classic, off the top of my head. And then I just have on this white cropped little um, shirt under the sweater. This is from Everlane. Sorry, I blanked. I was like, where is it from? And then I just have on these jeans from Madewell, a little belt that I thrifted. I am probably just gonna wear like Uggs or something on my feet i didn't really a lot enough time to like get ready today so i just put on earrings and slicked my hair back in a clip classic i feel like so proper today my like colored blouse i really do i feel like violently preppy or something i don't know <laughs> i just really like the colors on this sweater but i am feeling a little uh a little prep moment but that's what I'm off to do for the first part of this day.
you guys. It's freaking 8.05 already. I was gone the entire day. I literally left at like 12.20 or 12.15. I'm gonna do my little baked goods haul. Do you wanna see it, babe? Mm -hmm. Jared was asking about what I brought home. Oh yeah. I know, I got some good stuff in here, guys. So, first is my peppermint bark. Do you wanna try anything or are you gonna wait till after dinner? I'm gonna wait till after dinner. Here's my peppermint bark. Then we have, maybe I don't need to take out everything, but we have these like coconut brownies that, it's kind of funny because there's two Lindsay's and two Katie's, so. <laughs> One of the Katie's made these. Jared's mom made these, Ooh, those are at the bottom and they're breaking because they're really moist. Peanut butter cookies and divinity which this is like so confusing to me i like don't know what it is it's kind of like a marshmallow but it's like candy and it just i don't even know how to explain it i've never known what it is like it's like yeah i've hard, never it's like a crystallized sugar marshmallow yeah it's like a candy marshmallow type thing i guess I don't know. um then we have peanut butter fudge and regular fudge we have snow, I think these are snowflake cookies. We have white chocolate covered pretzels. And these little things called no bakes, which are like chocolate oat. And lastly in here wrapped up is some caramel. That is actually very sticky. I think it needs to harden more. We should put this in the fridge or the freezer. This is from Katie. It's hard to show you guys though because we didn't kind of let it set long enough. Which Katie? <laughs> Pregnant Katie. <laughs> Could be either one of them at this point. Yeah, she, other Katie didn't say she was pregnant. So, so um, yummy. Here's my baked goods loot. It, I have more than I did last year, so I feel good about that. I actually like made something this year. I don't think I made anything last year. I just, I don't know, I just went over and like, assisted a little bit. I don't even remember like making anything last year. I honestly think last year I just kind of like hung out. Also, Lakin was there who's, I think she's what, like five or six? Yeah. Something around there and she's just like the funniest little girl. Jared's, um, I guess your cousin's child. So is that still your cousin? Second cousin. Second cousin. She's just like so funny and she was, well we were hanging out a lot honestly. We made, these little hot chocolate in a bag for her class at school and i was helping her with them a few of us were helping her make them and they're so cute and we had some extras at the end so i figured out to bring home one to jared and one for myself and i don't really want to take it all out of the thing right now but i'll just show you guys oh this one oh no this one doesn't have a stir stick okay well i flopped on that but it has a swiss miss packet hershey kisses a giant marshmallow, mini marshmallows, and then this like peppermint spoon that you stir it with or you can melt it in your hot chocolate with the little, we put them in these little bags with a little bow. So I was on the assist with these and got to take home a couple. So that was fun too, to help her with these. I thought this was a really cute idea. If any of you guys are like teachers or I don't know, just like an idea for, I mean, it could be for adults too, I guess, but like, I guess it's kind of more of a kid thing to just do this little like ready to go hot chocolate bag. Her mom said they were called Snowman Soup. So I don't know if that's like the official name or like the Pinterest name or something, but it comes in a little snowman bag and you just kind of put everything in to make yourself a hot chocolate with the little stir stick and everything. I think that's everything I have, yeah. Wow, I was wondering what this giant package was and I got a surprise press package from the body shop. It looks like it's all sustainably wrapped, which I know is one of their things that they started like committing to more this year, which is when I think I opted into their press packages anyway. This is so cool. I haven't even gone through anything, but it looks like they listed all of the like sources and the vendors of everything in here and then they put i haven't gone through any of it so i want to they put all these little gifts like we have a skincare set this is a sleep unwind and rest sleep gift 
Mm -hmm. Hand woven reusable gift basket is made from recycled paper. Okay, go off. The hand bomb in this gift set is enriched with handcrafted community fair trade shea butter. This is so exciting. This is so cute. Well, I'm gonna go through these and I mean, I'll most likely give these to like some of the girls in Jared's family or something. Like I'll probably go through and maybe I'll keep a few things for myself if anything looks super intriguing, but I think I'll just kind of like give these as little stocking stuffers and gifts for the gals because I wasn't expecting to get this and it looks really cute and everything's already like packaged up so cute. So ready to be gifted. So shout out to the body shop. Definitely check out what they have to offer this year because these gift sets look awesome and I love how they package with paper and cardboard. What's up, babe? We're on a date. We came to Panda Garden. Never been here before, but it looked pretty iconic. So we ordered a bunch of different stuff to try. This is my egg drop soup. We got some fried rice, which was my biggest craving of the day. Jane teriyaki, mm -hmm. uh, egg rolls, and more fried rice for Jane. So, let's have a sample. How is it? Probably. She is steaming and gorgeous. Mmm, he has a steaming too, boy. Mm. Yummy. Oh, hell yeah, brothers. It's happening. We are in the guest room. I know, you probably can't tell at all. Here's the curtains in the guest room. Here's the blanket in the guest room. Here's the squirtle in the guest room. And we are gonna watch another Christmas movie. It's time to get serious about this. We are watching a classic. One of my top two or three. It's probably my top three for sure. It is. Let me turn on the lamp. I've never looked worse. It's not that bad. <laughs> this light's great. Let me wow. turn on the lamp for you for a second. Oh, a whole light? It's the lamp. <laughs> oh, no, I look like a red egg. Okay, Why do I look so bad? What? Ah! All right, guys, there was a lot of chaos in that last clip, but. Sometimes that angle is just not doing anything, but I kept it in the vlog because I thought it was funny. But it is the next day now, and I'm ending off this vlog. If you guys liked it, I know this one was like a little bit, like we didn't do as much in this vlog. I still feel like it was a good length though. I thought it was gonna be a lot shorter because I didn't feel like I got that much footage these past few days, but it's almost like 40 minutes. So if you guys have been liking Vlogmas, please do me a favor and just give this video a quick like. You know, it is my Christmas wish this year. Feel free to leave a comment down below. It helps with the engagement on my videos. And I'm just excited for more Vlogmas. We're about like, we're not even halfway through, I guess, yet. So like, there's a lot more to come, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you as always for watching. Bye.